Hi guys, so uh, this is a bit of an update. Um, I've just recently downloaded uh, the new Logic Remote, uh, which works with Logic Pro and also GarageBand. So I'm just gonna show you how this works. This is really, really useful uh, for uh, making keyboard sounds uh, into GarageBand or creating keyboard sounds in GarageBand. So what I've done here, first of all, is I've set up a, a software instrument. And I'm just using the electric piano here. And then I've connected the Logic Remote. Uh, now what you can do here uh, on the left-hand side, uh, you've got some different options. So if you want to play in, So I can, I can play in if I want to. Uh, also, you can adjust, if you have a look over here, and watch the tremolo. I'm adjusting that on the iPad, which is very, very cool. Uh, now, if you're not a particularly good keyboard player, uh, what you can do uh, is, this is the beauty of GarageBand uh, anyway, uh, is, It'll play you chords and different inversions. And what's really cool about this is, is if you don't play the keyboard or your keyboard playing is not very good, you can easily record chords uh, into GarageBand, which I'm going to have a go at doing now. So I'm just going to press record over here. Okay, just keep, and then I'm going to play some chords over here. the inversions cool and that has now recorded those keys keyboard sound how cool is that now probably what I need to do here uh, it's very crude I double click on the region. You can see my playing's a little bit out of time. So if I just select all of those and quantize it to quarters. Cool. Also, uh, to, to quickly tidy that up, I select all and just lengthen them a little bit. So just going back uh, over here, uh, there's some other options in here. Uh, you can use, uh, uh, it's actually got a mixer unit, which is really, really useful. So you can actually adjust uh, individual volumes. As far as I'm aware, you can't get to that view when you're looking at GarageBand uh, in, in, in the normal arrange window. So that's quite cool. So that's quite good for mixing. Uh, you've also got, uh, what's the other thing that was really cool? Uh, let's go back to the chord strips. Uh, go over here. <coughs> uh, let's just do that again, but we are going to, what you can also do is this button here. Oh, glissando. You can also change the scales, so. Uh, it'll give you different. Uh, so if you wanna work on a specific, specific thing, that's quite cool. Uh, let's just go back to chord strips. 
Now I need to just change that to off. There we go. And I should bring back my chord strips. Now these these notes down here are just the root notes. So you, so you can add a, you know, if you want to do an A minor. Uh, or if you, if you wanted to do like a, a C over G chord, uh, you can do kind of slash chords there, which is very, very cool. Uh, what you can also do, uh, which I've just noticed, uh, let's go back to here. Okay. Yeah, so this bit over here, you can actually change. Uh, so this is in track. Uh, you can get these different sort of grooves and patterns. So let's just find, let's go something like simple chord groove one, and let's just do our chords again. Cool. So let's record that. Let's see if we can put that in. Cool. How cool is that? So excuse the bad cameraman. I don't have a tripod moment. So let's have a listen. Yeah, so I was a little bit late um, hitting that on the iPad. There might be a little bit of latency there. So what I'm going to do is just quantize that to 16th. See what that sounds like now. That's better. So if you don't play keyboards pretty well, uh, it's a great way for getting some ideas in. Now, if you don't like that, uh, what you do is you can just you can just go back and uh, you can go down and then change. Uh, lost the thing. There it is. You can go uh, go and change and try different things out there. So that is the new Logic Remote, which works with GarageBand. Uh, it also works quite well with Logic. I'll just boot up Logic now so you can uh, have a look. Okay, so the first time it connects, it takes a little bit of time. It's just found my computer. There we go, we're in. So uh, over here, when you go to the mix window, now I've got, I can scroll through uh, all my tracks. Oh, try not to turn them up and down. Uh, also you've, at the top here, you've also got a uh, start and stop, which is pretty cool. So it's all there, you can do all your panning. Uh, again, you can do all your chord strips. Uh, uh, it's got live loops, which I haven't used yet. So that, that'll be my next thing to check out. Anyway, hopefully this is useful. Uh, so if you haven't done so already, if you've got a Mac, go and, download, go and download Logic Remote from the App Store, connect it up to GarageBand or Logic Pro, uh, if, you, if you do have it. And yeah, get playing. It's a great way to get uh, stuff onto your Mac. Cool. Cheers.